Right, so we're going to look at the Elgamal encryption method. Elgamal is a, a public key encryption method which uh, produces smaller keys for the same security as you would get with RSA. It's an excellent method and is used for digital signatures and also for encryption. It's a similar method to the Diffie-Hellman method and really uh, the core of its security is the difficulty of calculating discrete logarithms within a finite field. Okay, so with, with public key uh, we generate two keys. Uh, so, so Bob uh, generates a public key and a private key. The public key he distributes to Alice. She encrypts a message with his public key and then sends it back and Bob decrypts with his private key. So with inside the LGAMO method, we initially create a prime number P. Then we create a number G, which is somewhere between 1 and P minus 1. The next step is that we generate a, a random value, uh, X. And then from here we calculate a value Y, which is G to the power of X. And then we take the modulus with P. So the key that is actually sent is P, G and Y. So we send that to Alice as Bob's public key. The X value is kept as his secret key or his private key. So next Alice takes the three values together uh, and then takes the message that she wants to send generates her own random number k and then calculates g to the power of k this was the g value here and then mod p and then we take y which was received we put it to the power of k and then we multiply it by the message and then we take the mod of p then this encrypted value is sent as a and b to bob so Bob now has to be able to decrypt this message of A and B. So probably the best way to illustrate this is to go to our example online. So we go to our site and we pick encryption. OK, then we look up the public key methods and we have LGAML. The Algamo method is is uh, used, uh, as said, within digital uh, signatures and also for encryption. And uh, what we have now is the value of A and B, which is passed from Alice to Bob. So Bob now has to be able to decrypt the values. Okay, so this button here should create a number of values for us. Hopefully, if everything is working correctly, then the value that is sent is equal to the value that is actually received. So, it's worked in this case, and we should be able to keep generating different values. And hopefully, at the end of it, we we end up with the same message value and then the same decrypted value. Okay, so there's our p value, which is hopefully a prime number. Uh, we have our g value. If we want, we have a program that will actually test for prime numbers, just to check. And it is. Okay, so we'll try another one. So there's our value. So g is somewhere between uh, 1 and p minus 1. This is the, the value that uh, Bob has selected. We'll, we'll select another one so we get a larger value of y. Okay, so it's a fairly large, in this case, value for p. And then we have g. Bob selects 187. And then we'll calculate g to the power of x and then mod p. 
So if you're interested, then the value of y is um, calculated here. So g to the power of x and take mod p. So we're using Benji Castle, which can deal with very large integers here. Okay, so now uh, Bob will send G, P and Y to Alice. And now Alice creates the message, in this case it's 70. Uh, that's represented as bytes of course, or uh, a block of bytes. She then calculates or determines a random value, K in this case 176. And then she calculates these two, uh, A, the A value and the, the B value g to the power of k mod p and y to the power of k times m which is the message mod p. So we can see down here what that actually looks like. So there is our g to the power of k mod p and the y to the power of k and we multiply it by the message <coughs> and we take the mod. After this, this is the last step, <coughs> and the last step allows us to be able to get the plain text back again using this formula. So if we look at the code, this is actually the formula that's been created. P to the power, it's, it's A to the power of, and it's the power of P, minus 1, and then minus X x was the key that uh, Bob created as his private key. So in this case it was 187. Okay, so that's the value that we put it to the uh, to the power of. We take a mod of p there and then we multiply it by the value of uh, b that we received and we do a mod p and then hopefully if the two strings match the send and the receive then the program itself will give a success. Okay, so that's been a basic introduction to El Gamo.